it so much. But when I the second time I did it, I had the second shield and I felt um I got goosebumps. <laughs> Aww. And I was that was my confirmation. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is real. <laughs> it is. It makes a big difference. Thank you so much, Regina. Um, Luca said you want to go next. Oh no, ski ski before I think. Okay, ski, go ahead. Um, yeah, I use mudras for my shield, so I usually use my demon repeller mudra for like negative thing, and like I I kind of exert my energy since I'm like really good with qigong and energy work. So I, I'll pull up my mudra and I'll express my mudra, and I remember on one of my missions in my town yeah um there was somebody being a dark hypnotist or whatever not to get too in detail but a dark hypnotist right and i basically um was there and i was seeing that he was kind of messing with people's minds in an evil way and archons were around him too doing evil things i pulled up my mudra and it was my shield mudra i was trying to protect the people i pulled up my shield mudra and then like i just kept asking on my guys for help so i asked on my guys for help as too and i just kept calling on it and just channeling the energy into my mudra my demon repellent mudra and I swear, the whole cons, like the whole little um setup, all the power went out. Yeah, I usually do mudra and call upon my source, the um source within. I call upon my guys with my mudras. Can you share them in the chat with us? Yeah, I can. Um, be- give me. Okay. Like, oh, one of them is like okay. It kind of looks like the um rock star sign. I mean, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna still share it, but I'm gonna uh, give you like a little bit of the um, the background on it. So okay. One of them is like um, like the rock star sign. Like um, they would say it's like oh, it's like the devil horns or whatever you know what i'm talking do you guys know what i'm talking about yes mm-hmm. well I'll- matter of fact i can i can flip my camera real quick and show you it can be like this or like this and mm-hmm. i channel i channel my energy through this but i'm gonna send something else in the chat too and i'll Thank call you. upon my guy so and there's the other like, like the ghost thing out of my face like not around me hold that for ski we can barely hear you yeah his wi-fi might be cutting out yeah i think you're walking away from your wi-fi <laughs> it connected to my car speed like i got too close to my car I had my headphones and it got connected to my car. Oh, okay. Uh, and then um, I was about to say there is another one. I used it and like when I use it, it like it kind of projects like a shoot of love around me. So now if you're not a being vibrating on love, you're not gonna be able to come around. And I'm gonna show y'all that. All right, so this is the other one. All right, see you, Grandma. All right, so my bad guy. <laughs> Go in there, and ask Mo real quick. Ski, were you finished? You muted. He's running. He's Batman errands around around the neighborhood. Like okay, him. well, you can go. Okay, um, Dad, imagine a white pillar of light starting from the central sun, so the 12th chakra, uh, going down to my root chakra. Um, the pillar of light is followed by a ray of light. Um, after the 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 pillar is. Uh, cleared my root chakra i imagine um, the energy is coming through my solar plexus chakra and building up uh, the different layers of my shield i also uh, imagine uh, where what is um, a white a white shield and a golden shield and a blue and a green and a purple and after i heard uh, the stuff with the invisible or uh, visible shield from luca last time i also uh, integrated it and yeah like that <laughs> okay awesome the, there's so many different ways i love that you guys experiment with it. and every one of us uh every one of us will eventually find their perfect way of doing it and like the more it becomes a habit the more we start experimenting with it that's the same thing i did too um so i'm gonna share with you guys how i do it from the very like start like when i lay down i imagine like this soap bubble looking shield around my house um i'm sure you guys know what i mean like it's like a little rainbow colors but also see-through and i just close my eyes i envision it i try to envision it in my head like it's like my my house is literally inside this big bubble and once i see it in my head i start building layers to it some people add gold layers silver layers platinum layers maybe even like broly mentioned like a fire and stuff like that but to me i just do a few layers Uh, mine are honestly don't have any colors it's just multiple layers of the same thing and once i feel the shield being strong or like uh thick and firm um i start clearing the energy and i do it 
through like I am envisioned this white light coming through my head to my heart and swirls around my heart almost like <laughs> in a cartoon I guess and then it, it bursts out of my heart and that's when I start filling the entire space with this white life but also love I try to feel love and I try to fill my entire or this entire bubble with it sometimes it takes a little bit longer sometimes it's very quick it depends like and what I mean with a little bit longer maybe long for me for a shield is about to 10 minutes but you can literally feel when it's enough and when it's filled because when my shield for example is filled I see like every single piece of my furniture and my floor and my bed I see everything like grass I just love nature so <laughs> I just envision everything to be grass and I'm like I'm laying in my bed I'm like just imagining it all completely made of grass no bugs obviously because i hate bugs just flowers and fresh air and sunshine and whenever i start seeing it clearly in my head that's when i know all right now i clear the space it's filled with love and light and it feels really really good and like almost like i have this such a happy feeling and whenever i set that up then i start seeing little things like i mentioned earlier for example no low vibrational energies no let's sorry started up wrong um any low vibrational energies that are being sent my way i reflect them and I return them back to the sender so i say that a few times sometimes i say three times sometimes six times sometimes nine times as you guys know three six and nine are the ultimate numbers of the universe so um i try to incorporate little things like that into this and also back to the um to the um what is it called the most important law of the universe free will i also say and like almost like decide who gets to come into my uh shield and who cannot come under no circumstances so i say uh, something like no low vibrational beings are allowed anywhere inside my shield nor anywhere near my shield you are forbidden to enter and to even get close and then i also say who is allowed inside my shield and then i say something like any high vibrational beings who serve my highest good uh, with unconditional love for me are allowed to enter you guys have to be very very specific about the things you guys say because it's very easy to leave loopholes for low vibrational beings because they always find a way and that's why i have been very specific on like my guides my angels any high vibrational beings who serve my highest good and this and, and recently i started also adding this and half uh, and and serve it with unconditional love for me that makes it very very specific because a low vibrational being ain't gonna do that for you guys so it said these boundaries for example and then i in the end cloak my shield i know there have been questions before in the previous classes how to cloak because it seemed um a little bit hard for some which it could be in the beginning because it's, it's just a matter of repetition like the more you practice it the easier it will, it will get eventually so i literally just try to view my shield almost like from a out uh, an outside perspective as if i'm outside and i see my shield is up i almost like you guys can imagine this as, as if i would like snap my finger almost like a, a switch and i'm like and now like cloak and then i see it how it just literally disappears almost like in tv when you guys see something cloaking but i also put um the intention out that no volume uh, like no like they can't hear audio they can't feel my energy they can't feel any of that to them uh, to the low vibrational beings it's this place as if it's completely dead and nobody's here and abandoned that's what i make it feel like and ever since i started experimenting with the cloaking um i also witnessed that i didn't have to reinforce my shield daily anymore it was it's like it stays good for much longer than it did before because before i had to do it every single evening and now i try to see I, like i start on reinforcing but you would feel if it still feels really really good you just know but it'll never hurt to just check in on it every single day so this this is how i do uh how i do my shield and i would like i know Ange has also an incredible way of creating her shield 
and I always love it when she shares it. And Ange, can you speak or do you want to do a little bit later? Ange is typing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. She's on the bus. All right. We'll wait a little bit. Um, there's, um, like I mentioned earlier, for a lot of people, the shield can have many different forms and shapes. Um, like I also, uh, I already mentioned that some people envision it would uh, like looking gold. And I also have a friend who actually envi uh, envisions it like this little plasma ball do you guys know what i'm talking about like the old school little ball like a um like an energetic type of yeah like the um when you touch it and then it has the electricity coming out from it yes exactly <laughs> oh and um i also wanted to add for some reason this came to my mind for people who uh don't really uh not really experience with the shieldings yet i feel like you can start off by like if you're for example have you guys ever watched like doctor strange like because we already know that you know energy is a real thing even though we can't see it but it's very powerful Powerful and it's there so you know just try to in a way envision um the energy that you have and try to like create these shields of light that like dr strange has like having also like geometric figures to like shield yourself as well i feel like that'll be very powerful because regina added earlier that she uses numbers which is really cool like i really want to try that out yeah so i feel like also using shapes like dr strange use and for anybody who's watched that movie <laughs> um if you haven't i highly recommend it because the way that he trains and stuff it's like you can see how in the beginning he wasn't too sure but then he got a hang of it so i feel like even for uh beginners you guys guys can really practice with that and you can build powerful shields like that yes absolutely and then there are also people who for example envision their shields like a body tight suit as well that would have been my next point like once you establish your shield around your house well this is what i do i i then go to myself and envision the exact same thing around myself so whenever i leave the house because this is the mistake i used to do i used to shield my home but then i'll go out i would not think about the fact that i should shield myself as well when i go out because you're out there you guys already know a lot of people are a lot of energies and you don't always necessarily want to feel everyone's energy so yeah that's why it's also important to create your shields around you guys especially when y'all at work or somewhere where it's very crowded it's very important because you guys know energy vampires are a real thing <laughs> they can draw your energy and exhaust you and you gotta be able to protect yourself from that or at least stop them a a little bit so they don't drain you fully um yeah i have like a shield as well that i don't think anybody has any okay color. so i like to actually think of my eye color <laughs> which is kind of odd to some people but um you know i i, I like with uh, like an array of, of you know colors that i use in order to not lose my emotion um because i often see that sometimes like while watching you know tv or or like seeing and hearing other people like they, they will like lose their emotions and that kind of, kind of is like oh that's like similar to you know and so like i'd like to have like come up with like a good amount of colors just for myself and then you know if i'm like watching tv or something and if like i feel like i'm getting off track and like oh i don't feel like myself even in general sometimes with other people like i'll just like like use this and like i'll, I'll literally just like like uh give myself like a, a, an entire like body you know like just the way either the way i look feel and like you know i'll just make sure that i like save myself and then like sometimes i'll even like make myself like a face or something and then i'll just like i'll forget about like wh whatever it was just because like i know like okay i'm still the same and it, nothing would change just just because like uh like i i, I you know it doesn't it, it feels like i don't care you know but sometimes it's just like all i can say like okay i don't know but it still would not okay, okay. okay. Oh, sorry. go ahead yeah it's always the case with a lot of but it definitely helped me uh, helps me out oh, thank you thank you so much for sharing um another thing you guys always uh also should be aware of is shiny surfaces in your home any shiny surface can be used as a portal and also for low vibrational beings to enter so you have to be conscious and like knowing and uh, i mean aware of these portals and you have to close them if you want to leave a portal open 
I mean, that's okay. But just like with the shield, you have to set strong, like, clean intentions on who is even allowed to come through that portal. But like my, um, hand, my hmm? hands, is, like, if I'm in the sun or, like, even, like, if there's, like, a light on them, they'll shine. What can I do about that? What do you mean your hands shine? Like, yeah, they look all glittery. Like, if I'm in the sun, they'll, like, not they ref- it does. Yeah, like, they're sparkling right now. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a Hello? Yeah, show us. Yeah, I'll take a picture. Let me see if my, my camera actually has it because it's kind of bad. Silence. <laughs> okay, well, while we're waiting for the picture. Yeah, you guys um, be aware of um, the shiny surfaces and make sure you guys close the portals. I just literally say all portals in my house are being closed like right now nothing is being able to be used as a portal and no no low vibrational beings are allowed to enter and under no circumstances i leave i usually leave one portal open for my guides to come in but even that you guys have to the, the portal thing i have to say there's a uh, incredible video that cash made about it i should check it out i think it was on youtube if i find it i'll share it in this chat for you guys because he talks a little bit more clear about it and i think broly you also you know a lot about portals how to clean them how to clear them how to like maintain them in a way i am not Mm -hmm. as engaged with that i'm only (laughs) aware that there are so many because you guys if i would show you my house almost anything and everything is a shiny surface in my house (laughs) so (laughs) i have so much and also there's something that macklin also brought to our attention as well is our phones our phones could be like the portal that literally is the most dangerous one of all because we access so many websites and every time you click on something you're basically agreeing to something right whenever you agree to something is when you're giving them a loophole so just be aware of that maybe shield a little bit like on your phone and stuff like that and um yeah um, broly would you like to add something to the portals uh yeah sure so basically what i've learned um from cash as well so basically what I've learned is that you can program your portals. So let's say you have a portal in your room that you decided to like use a mirror, for example, right? Basically, you can open up a portal and be like, I want this to be an access point for um, my angels, my galactic family to be able to access and help me whenever I need the assistance to be able to enter my room or your sacred space, wherever it is. So basically what you can do, which is pretty good, you can use like a, if you have a crystal, I would say use selenite or clear quartz. Basically you can program that crystal and you can place it on top of the mirror if it's a big mirror and you can um, just place it there and just say, yeah, I'm just closing this portal for the night and you can just put the crystal up there and then just seal it off it's just as simple as that you don't have to do some crazy rituals all you have to do is just say it and basically in the morning time you can you know just remove the crystal and just open it back up and just saying you know i'm just reopening my portal and my guides my angels whoever you talk you talk to is able to come through when they're needed so that's pretty much my understanding of the portals so (laughs) it's kind of cool I feel like everybody could be able to practice that. Yeah, it doesn't sound too hard. Just Mm -hmm. a lot of little details and certain information get too much, you guys. Just know this this class and the previous class is well recorded. And basically, I always touch on uh, the same things in each class just to keep it more present in everyone's daily life in a way as well. And because we also have so many new people here today, and I love that. So I wouldn't want you guys to miss out on any of the previous things we talked about and i also ask everybody to please experiment with the shields and test things out and share it uh, in our next class because i do this class like every four weeks and we'll just exchange what we have um, learned and tested out and stuff like that so another point when it comes to shields i always know that you can always ask your your guides also to help with the shield like to help you shield your home yourself whatsoever they're just literally waiting on you to ask them for help and another thing is guards you can create astral guards and position them around your shield that's what i I first started up with two guards that i positioned on each side like on left and on the right of my home 
and I also like I filled them with I gave them a consciousness in a way and filled them with lots of love and I talk to them I tell them thank you so much for helping me shield my home and myself I love you guys and stuff like that and um, I, I send them a lot of love but I also cloak them I um, you have to tell them um, basically exactly what you need them to do like I for example ask them that if any low vibrational being it gets too close that they ask them to leave if they don't leave then they're gonna have to make them leave basically but i always give even low vibrational beings i give them the option to leave on their own without any harm hi okay i've taken uh, i tried to take a picture but i couldn't really see it so i took a video and we could kind of see when i put my hand back left it in the chat oh shoot i saw it that's kind of cool do you do you have guides do i have guides do you talk to your guy you should have guides <laughs> um guides uh no i'm a guide to people <laughs> oh okay uh, I like uh if i listen um for a long time you know if i remember i be like i know what to do you know and then eventually like i can but i don't do it that much often anymore okay because you you can meditate on it and see what you get why you have to sparkle this is actually kind of interesting do you do meditation i meditate yeah i also have like white specks under my nails but i think that's normal probably would any Anyone else like to share something about their shields? Robbie, hello. Baby, hello. <laughs> I know you guys shared some stuff before. Hey, hello. hello. Do we have some new people oh in? I would love for you guys to share. I started doing this thing, and I don't, and I don't know why. You know, I uh, do my field work every night uh, or whenever I feel like I need. And I started to like to my heart chakra with my finger while I was I am doing it, like with my hands. I don't know why I start doing it. I'm like something I should do. <laughs> but I keep doing it every time when I'm activating my field. Because I always imagine like my field energy coming from my like, center heart chakra. Yeah, I love that. Mine comes also from my heart chakra. But you guys already know because I am tapping it like I am clicking a button in my heart chakra. Like I keep tapping it, tapping it with my finger and close my eyes and I imagine. Okay. Thank you so much, Robbie. Hey, Favy. I know you want to say something. <laughs> um, oh, no. I was just, I was like saying that you said hey when I was trying to reply. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi, Zach. Hi. Would you like to share your ways? Uh, sure. Um, something um, I like, I've been using a lot of like golden energy lately. Um, and like for a long, I mean, I had been working with golden energy before, but I would kind of prefer like platinum white kind of energy um but i've been really enjoying working with golden lately like just making like a golden orb or like an egg around my body and then imagining that golden orb be like charging with more golden energy or with some other energy or sometimes like you know have like different layers where i have like a golden layer and then maybe i have like flames on the inside that's like transmuting anything and like pushing out any kind of densities or maybe i put flames on the outside so that way it makes it hard harder for beings to like affect my shields and um and i like to do my shields in a lot of different ways like sometimes i just kind of like command it to be there like i just like like i just say like i'm creating a shield of platinum white light up around my body or i'm creating a shield of golden energy around my body and i just believe it and then it happens or sometimes i more like visualize it around my body or sometimes i use like my clear sentience and try to just like around my body and it's usually some kind of a combination but um those are some little keys that have really helped me okay thank you so much yeah and also like feeling into my aura and like using my aura as a shield and i like to do that just through my clairsentience where i kind of like quiet my mind and i just move into the feeling and i just like feel my aura and feel the energies around and and then i try to like bring say like golden energy or something into my aura and make my aura very high High vibrational and then it, it becomes like a shield yeah i love that i mean i love all of you guys ways honestly it's so unique and it's so interesting to listen to you guys i learned so much and um since and speak i'm i'm gonna share your beautiful way of shielding with everybody so Ange, as you guys can see on her picture she's an angel <laughs> and she imagines like envisions 
like her wings covering her like these large wings that are just literally almost like closing a little bit around her and covering her and shielding her and i thought this is just so beautiful that is one way as well we have some new people left Ooh, already and uh one more way and I do this like with the help of a crystal, um, Amethyst, which is one of my favorite crystals and they've really assisted me deeply in many, many ways, but they're really good for protection and stuff. And so like I'll hold the crystal in my hand and hold them and start connecting with their energy. And then I'll ask them like Amethyst, please help me to keep my energy safe and protected for my highest good. Or please help me to please help me to be safe and protected from all negative energies, you know, whatever variation feels right for you and then i'll like feel the amethyst energy it like expands out and like protects me it can like go around my body or could program it to do different things yes that is something we actually didn't mention because earlier we were cr talking about crystals helping us to shield and protect we we have to ask them because they do have their own consciousness we have to ask them and i also always thank them for protecting me just being grateful is very important yeah definitely and if you're asking your crystals for help with protection a lot you could give some energy back to them too and that'll also in turn make them it'll help them be able to protect you more effectively because then you know they'll have more energy to to help you with yes then there's an exchange happening i actually never thought about it like that but i always have been doing it because i just when i look at my crystals and i hold them in my hand like that and like envision or ask them for assistance with something i always feel like give them a lot of love i just feel this love that's flowing to or like into them but that's literally what you just explained yeah for real uh, yeah i love i love my crystals and i love loving on them and i notice also i kind of like to give my crystals breaks like if i've been using like the same crystal like if i bring a crystal with me to work then i'll usually take them off after work unless like if i ask them and they say they want to stay then i'll keep them on but usually i like to give them a break and just let their energy kind of reset and let them cool down and everything especially because a lot of crystals like help with transmutation and they can accumulate some you know they can pick up energies just like we can and so like it can be really helpful to them to cleanse their energies as well yeah and cleaning mm. them every once in a while as well and like recharging yeah. them in the moonlight and sunlight and whatsoever i have to admit i have been lagging on that i have to <laughs> have to do it i don't do it as often as i should be because i feel like about once a month should be good what do you guys think mm -hmm. i mean it depends i mean personally i like to cleanse my crystals every time i use them but um, for like leaving them in the full moon or sunlight outside like i think even just doing that month once a month or they would really appreciate that i yeah. like to let me see if i leave a lot of them right here on my windowsill so that way they catch the sunlight and the moonlight and stuff and that's a lot that large green one you have oh that i love that uh green calcite really that's really amazing. pretty they're really amazing crystal for the heart chakra and they're very like it's a very like soothing calm peaceful kind of energy that i get from them really great meditation stone hi rena hello macklin welcome sis yeah <laughs> <laughs> they finally able to join my dad's mom left okay would you like to share something with us too and uh, any of you guys if you guys have any questions just please either write it in a chat or just like unmute and ask we're here like what kind of things to share how about your shielding um i like layers so i have multiple shields so at once so like i like to double up so like let's say i have a house with a gate and so like i put a shield around my gate where um beings can see in because I just think it's funny but um then around my house i have a shield where they can't see in and then around my room i have a shield where they can't see in and uh, it's programmed with different things and different beings then i have another shield around me which is like kind of like my aura shield. it's like my aura part of my shield yeah those are my shields but those are the ones i travel with those are the ones i keep up 24 7. i find like layers are really really useful and um i like to set crystals to my shields because i think it's fun and it honestly helps the 
energy of them makes them a bit stronger oh yeah that's a good point like a lot of the time sorry i'm breathing hard i just did some pull-ups <laughs> but um i a lot of times when i set a shield around my room i like to ask certain crystals in my room to help me to keep the shield like up and powerful and to like bring certain energetic qualities in so like like say i create a crystal around my room I might ask my selenite pyramid to help that shield stay strong but to also bring like the selenite energy in to help keep the energy clear in my room oh yes i love selenite for shields i used to wear a selenite like around my neck and I